Hey guys, Bob from Gill Skills. Welcome to the channel today. Today I wanted to go over some tips and tricks on rodent control. In my previous video, we had discussed how rodents and um, squirrels, chipmunks, things of that nature were getting into the home, scratching on the walls and whatnot. And we weren't really sure how or why up until recently. We discovered that the vinyl siding on the corners there's no plugs down below. It's just a big open area. And I'll put a picture down below just to show you. Anything that wanted to get up there could, you know, mice, chipmunks, whatever, can just run right up, get into your soffits, your roof, your walls, and just keep you up at night. So I did some research and uh, discovered a multitude of ways to combat this. There's steel meshes, there's copper meshes that you can put in there. Um, there was also something uh, called critter cap. And I was really intrigued by this, so I, I bought it. It was $25 on Amazon. It was the cheapest place I could find it. It came with a set of six of these universal plugs that you can put in the vinyl cornering to prevent anything from getting in there. The nice thing about these is there's no screws needed, there's no glue needed. Uh, once you put it in place, it kind of holds itself there. So um, it's kind of a set it and forget it deal. I, I would highly recommend these. It came with six of them, like I said, and Critter Cap even came with a mirror, which makes it real easy to look up underneath and make sure that the seal is, is correct and there's no spaces that the rodents can get through. So I'll put a link down below in the description for this for you guys, so you can check this out for yourself. Let's go ahead and install these babies. All right. Actually, this looks like it's just gonna fit right in just the way it is. Dandy Bear. You want to get down here and take a peeky? Take a peeky in the mirror. Hold on, guys. Let's see if I can do a little better for you. That pretty much stays in place, and nothing can get up in there, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to do this to the rest of my uh, corners, and I want to see how well this turns out. So this one here is actually, I've actually pulled snakes out of this one before. It's all locked in there now. All right, let's move on to the next corner. Have in the mirror because you can check and see if there's any Hitters up there before you cram this thing in. Uh, let's see. Thankfully, I didn't have to cut or uh, customize this thing at all. It just kind of fits right in place, which is really nice. length of my fingers nothing can really get in there but if I really wanted to I could grab steel mesh or copper mesh and stuff that in there it's 
So we'll try that out and we will um, we'll do another video, say maybe two, three months down the road to kind of do a review of this uh, critter crap, not uh, critter crap, critter cap. <laughs> um, so far, I mean, they, they went in really easy. I didn't have to customize mine at all, but they're very versatile in the sense that you can break off little pieces and make it fit just right for you. So anyway, thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and share 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 um i'm almost at 1200 subscribers so thank you for that i like and love each and every one of you take care bye bye i hope you've enjoyed my content if you have great let me divert your attention over to this big red subscribe button on the side here already a subscriber that's awesome and i greatly appreciate it please feel free to click on that little bell to get notifications when I create a new video.